Hi, I'm Rod Thompson, and here's what's left. Infrastructure. Donald Trump is promising to fix the roads and the bridges and invest heavily in infrastructure. Wow. Is Donald channeling FDR? Not exactly. Let me read this. It's from Ryan Bradley at Fortune magazine. With $167 billion in private investment, the $1 trillion plan does not hit taxpayers, the authors claim. The 82% tax credit, for example, means that savvy investors can suddenly own and collect tolls on a very expensive road after putting up relatively little in real dollars. Donald's plan steals from the middle class and gives to the rich. Once those corporations own those roads, they can set the tolls as high as they want. Forever. So end up with class warfare on our nation's roads. Roads for the rich and roads for you and me. Folks, it's not arguable that massive infrastructure spending is the right prescription for our ailing economy. The unemployed and underemployed will see large increases in their paychecks as companies scramble to hire. Unions will see a renaissance. The demand for just about everything will rise as the economic juggernaut finally wakens. Remember, it's not tax breaks that stimulate the rich to invest in business. Only demand stimulates growth. Republicans knew that. By blocking all of Obama's infrastructure spending, they put a hiring freeze on America for the last eight years. Good high-paying jobs fell while raises and benefits petered away. Now, they're suddenly willing to pass the Obama stimulus package so that they can get credit for the booming economy. And if you add Donald's road giveaway, you can finally start selling off America one bridge at a time. We definitely do need massive infrastructure spending in roads, bridges, renewable energies, parks, and education. This is not debatable, but Donald's plan is just like his university a huge scam. I'm Rod Thompson, and that's what's left.